Hi everyone. So today what I'll do is I'll discuss some very high yield questions for your upcoming FMG exam. Now what we have seen in the past is that FMG exam is about knowing the usual clinical things, the emergencies that are usually happening, the diseases that are usually happening. If you're good at that, you will pass. And unfortunately, what I've seen is many students, they keep drifting towards the unusual. So I'll show you an example of the questions that we, uh, you know, used in the recent test that we conducted on computer centers uh, in the FMG students and many students, they appeared for the test in the center itself. So I'll show you the questions and their discussions and the why behind them. So let's see the first question. Sure short question for FMG exam. This patient comes to you in emergency with sharp stabbing pain in the chest. X-ray is shown to you. This is the X-ray that you can see in the exam. So I want all of you to look at the arrow marked area. Do you agree that the arrow marked area appears hyperlucent? It appears very dark. Okay. So if it is dark, that means it has more air. And as a student, you have a question. If you have more air, it could be a air in the pleural cavity, which is pneumothorax, which is an emergency. How do we confirm? So if this is air in the pleural cavity, I want you all to guess what is this area? This is the collapsed lung. Whenever you have air in the pleural cavity, it is going to compress the lung and it will cause a passive collapse. So if this is the lung, it should be lined by the visceral pleura. So you can see a sharp outer line, which is the visceral pleural line, which is parallel to the contour of the chest wall. This appearance is called as the visceral pleural line sign. I'm writing it down. It is a potential question noted down for your FMG exam. Visceral pleural line sign. If you see this on a chest x-ray, what do you suspect? We suspect pneumothorax. We suspect pneumothorax. Some of you might be thinking why this is not pneumonitis. A pneumonitis means pneumonia. In pneumonia, you will see a opacity with air bronchogram. Emphysema, emphysema, you will have a lung which is more black. True. But you will not see the visceral pleural line sign. Pleural line sign is very typical of pneumothorax. Bronchiectasis. I'll give you three words. Okay, remember them for your FMG exam. Tram track appearance, signet ring appearance, bunch of grapes appearance. These are the appearances that you see in bronchiectasis. So we can now rule out the other choices and go to the answer. Next is a very, very usual question in the exam. This patient has a 35 year old man presented with pain and swelling around the wrist. So there is swelling around the wrist. Now if there is a swelling around the wrist, I don't know if it is soft tissue or bony, let us do a x-ray. And you have done a x-ray. So on this x-ray, I will ask you some questions you need to answer. Is this x-ray of a child or an adult? This is an x-ray of an adult. Why? Because the growth plates are already fused. Now tell me, where is the disease? It is in the epiphysis right below the, it is in the epiphysis, just below the joint, I will say it is subarticular in location. The appearance is like a soap bubble expansile. What condition do you suspect? We suspect a giant cell tumor. Adult, epiphyseal, subarticular, soap bubble, expansile lesion, think of giant cell tumor. In the choice, the answer would be giant cell tumor. Now, rickets, on the other hand, should show growth plate widening. Okay. Osteosarcoma will not be restricted to the bone. It will be seen extending into the surrounding soft tissue with a sunray-like appearance and cordman triangle, which you don't see in the image. A Coley's fracture would definitely be a fracture. So this is how you differentiate and also you can see there is no history of injury. Only a focal bony lesion which is seen in the adult in the epiphysis, subarticular, so bubble expansile. Please mark the answer as GCT. Again, one of the short short questions for your FMG exam. This patient, I am showing you an image and you need to tell us what is happening. I am showing you the ultrasound image. 
this is your ultrasound image of the uterus what do you see in the uterus uh, for those of you who are not able to find i put some arrows on it when you see the uterine cavity you can see some white black areas these white black areas are called as the snowstorm appearance if you see the snowstorm appearance what do you suspect this is typical for molar pregnancy molar pregnancy now if i ask you a question if you have a partial mole you will see fetal part if you don't see the fetal part it is the complete mole just like what you see in the image shown to you in the question so the answer was molar pregnancy molar pregnancy gold standard investigation for paranasal sinuses this is a previous fmg question now for sinuses okay remember for sinuses and lungs both of them are air filled structures we prefer a ct scan for sinus and lung we prefer a ct scan okay however if you have a sinus disease which has intracranial extension like a fungal sinusitis or a tumor if you have a sinus disease which is extending into the sinus then you will mark the answer as mri similarly if you have a pulmonary pathology like a pancos tumor which has neural invasion so if it is inv invading the nerve or the brain it is better to do a mri otherwise for most of the conditions in the lung or most of the conditions in the sinuses you will do a ct scan you will do a ct scan okay identify the pattern shown identify the pattern shown in this image i want you all to look at this image very very important image and a very classic question in in this image if you look at this this is a barium enema if this is a barium enema this is your rectum and this is your descending colon where is the problem the problem is in the sigmoid colon what do you see in the sigmoid colon we see a concentrina or a sawtooth like appearance we are able to see a sawtooth like appearance which is a feature seen in diverticulosis okay this is seen in diverticulosis if they ask you a new question and they say investigation of choice for acute diverticulitis is then you need to mark cct acute diverticulitis cct if they say apple core appearance then ca colon cancer of the colon you will see or cancer of any part of the bowel you will see the uh, apple core appearance if they say core screw appearance diffuse esophageal spasm diffuse esophageal spasm string sign any cause of narrowing like you can see string sign in crohn's disease if you have a stricture in bowel tb also we can have string sign congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis also you can have a string sign string sign means if there is a narrowing in the bowel that narrowing on barium looks like a string okay linear accelerator is for linear accelerator is a machine used for teletherapy teletherapy means source of radiation is away from the body if the source of radiation is away from the body we call it teletherapy classically teletherapy was done using a source called as cobalt machine which uses a isotope called as cobalt 60 half life 5.2 Two years produces gamma rays. So teletherapy was classically being done using cobalt machines using gamma rays. Very important question. But now what we prefer is a machine called as Linac. Linac is linear accelerator, which produces, which produces X rays and electrons. Mainly X rays, but can also produce electrons. so what is preferred now now the modern hospitals they prefer linac for your radiotherapy which is a type of radiotherapy called as teletherapy which can be asked in the exam radiotherapy is given in fractions we give fractions of five fractions a week weekend off and each fraction is about 1.8 to 2 gray and we give one fraction every day that is how the conventional fractionation is done another possible question is what is brachytherapy in brachytherapy we keep the isotope in contact in the tumoral cavity or in the tumor substance very important question most common isotope for brachytherapy is 
iridium 192 if they ask you the half life of iridium 192 74 days 74 days okay what is meant by doppler effect any moving object if it is showing a uh, you know if it is producing sound the frequency will change so what is doppler effect change in frequency moving objects remember this moving objects demonstrate frequency shift moving objects demonstrate frequency shift second question let's see how many of you can answer this question when we do a color doppler we show the blood flow by color but what is the basis the basis is direction of flow is the basis of the color red is the flow towards the ultrasound probe blue is the flow away from the ultrasound probe and don't forget that we use doppler in deep vein thrombosis screening for carotid stenosis and we also use doppler in pregnancy in iugr patients child with abdominal pain blood and red current jelly stool and on ultrasound you can see a appearance which is called as the target appearance or we can use a term anyone donut appearance target or a donut appearance on ultrasound in a child always think of into susception now why this is not appendicitis appendicitis will be a question which will say right iliac fossa tubular non compressible blind ending structure measuring more than 6 mm in diameter that will be appendicitis if it was meckel's diverticulum they will say technetium pertechnate scan can any one of you answer why the reason is and this is a previous fmg question technetium pertechnate is taken up by your gastric mucosa and what is it that you can have in meckel's diverticulum meckel's diverticulum can have ectopic gastric mucosa that is why we are doing a technetium pertechnate scan as the investigation of choice to look for gastric mucosa very important potential question for fmg exam calcification is not detected by so let me change the question if i change the question and i say calcification is suppose i say best detected by if i say best then ncct and previous fmg question as well calcification is best detected by ncct the problem in this question is i am saying not detected by so first three are structural investigations while the fourth one is a functional investigation which is based on metabolism i am sure you already know this by now it is a potential question for your fmg exam that pet scan uses fdg fluorodeoxyglucose which is based on metabolism so it can only tell you if there is glucose metabolism or not it cannot show you the structural things that you are wanting to look at so answer the question will be pet because the question is saying not if they had said best ncct calcification is best detected by ncct classic question always mark it correct okay final question pure common sense question a lady of reproductive age group advised a cct what will you ask her now whenever we look at such a question we need to remember that ct scan has radiation exposure and can you tell me where do you want to avoid radiation we want to avoid radiation in tell us in pregnant ladies so by mistake if she doesn't know that she is pregnant what do you need to ask her you want to ask her lmp this is a routine practice previous fmg question classic question can be repeated again as well because the entire idea is that they are going to ask you usually the common things so my dictums for you for the final few days will be okay revise 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 okay so what should be a goal revise 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 every day if you are a dab student you will be hearing many people will be organizing different events but you stick to your notes because if you keep moving around you are wasting your time you are not revisiting revise 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 your notes or if you have already attended with us you can revise your dfx notes the dams fmg express notes which are going to be the high yield material easily doable in the final 10 days revise 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 give tests the test that i am discussing for you with you here on the youtube channel is available for practice on the e medicos app in the test series if you are already a subscriber you can go through the test series go to the mock test you will see the fmg mock test there 
if you are not a subscriber you can activate a one day trial and give the test please appear for mock test there are many fmg mock tests in your app please practice please practice practice don't forget and i'm i'm sure some of you actually utilize the cbt when you went to the computer centers to give the test with us but the goal should always be practice test practice test revise test revise test revise test and above all above all please please stay positive this is the time when the maximum negativity hits you when you know people will start saying uh, that it will not happen you will not be able to do it cut off from negative people avoid talking to them at this juncture if you know of someone who is always pulling you down stop talking to them usse dosti baad mein kar lenge yaar 30 tarikh ke baad bahut time hai kar lenge abhi ke liye let's focus on being positive and only talking to people who encourage us only the talking to people who lift us up rather than people who push us down and i wish you all the best i am super excited for your results i know many of you will be doing exceedingly well up ki baar 200 par and i look forward to taking your interview on the damn silly studio and look forward to meeting you there i wish you all the best make your teachers proud make your parents proud do it for everybody who told you ke aap nahi kar paoge un sab ko karke dikhana hai i wish you all the best